Hey guys, just thought I'd show an update on me tweaking my cars on my Mini Z tractors by changing bodies based on how they drive. So the Audi R8, the chassis it's on, actually has good turning, but the Audi R8 tends to wheel hop and lift one wheel off the ground in the high speed section. So because it has high speed, sorry, because it has good turning, I'm going to swap it to a body that I know from experience actually goes better at high speed that needed a bit more turning. So I'll just try and demonstrate the wheel hop. So, oops, I'm having trouble with turning as well. But the wheel hop happens at the close fit where it is now. So it just sort of lifts a bit off the ground in that corner. And I haven't played around with two plates or springs or changing the shocks or anything like that. Um, at this stage, I just want to play around with bodies and try and get them drive well just with aftermarket tyres on like different bodies. So the Audi, I'm not a fan of it compared to a number of people who consider it one of the best race bodies just because on this tight track, its weakness seems to be that it wheel hops and isn't stable enough at the rear. doing its wheel hops in in the high speed section and I'm also not doing well at the corners. There it is, alright, so I'm going to swap it over to a Mercone F1 long tail and see how it behaves. Now all I've done at this stage is change over the front mount because when I know that the wheel offsets will work on the body I sometimes just do that to sort of get a sneak peek to get a feel for it. So. Um, it's still got the 1.5mm offset at the rear, whereas the McLaren long tail usually has, I think, a plus 3 at the rear and a plus 2.5 at the front, and it's still got the 1.5 for the Audi. But I'm just going to see what difference the body makes on the chassis, because it could be interesting. Yeah, so it's still doing the wheel hop, which I'll say is probably due to the 1.5 offset issue. But I think by the time I put the McLaren offset wheels on it, it will probably fix the wheel hop. And because this chassis has good turn in, it's currently working on the McLaren, but I'm going to change the front to the McLaren's offset, which I think is two and a half, whereas currently it's one and a half. And we'll just see how it goes. And in fact, I'll switch it to my yellow corn body, which is the same as this one, because this is a custom one that I don't want to get damaged. So now the chassis is fully swapped over to the McLaren F1's wheels. I'm using the same tyres that were on the Audi. And we'll see how it goes. Ah, it's getting the wheel hop on this chassis too. Alright, so the issue wasn't just about the Audi body, it could be a chassis thing. Alright, the phone is driving really well on the chassis, so I think I'll leave it on it. If I don't turn it sharply, I don't think I get as much of the wheel hop. McLaren's not bad, the crisp turn-ins certainly help the McLaren, but the wheel hop issue is still there. Could also be to do with the cheap tyres being a bit warped. So 
So anyway, I'll switch to my Nissan 350Z which runs very quietly and beautifully around this track. So let's see if the Nissan 350Z lives up to my description of it. There we go. Yeah, got to adjust to it. It turns a lot sharper than the longer wheelbase ones. Oh, I'm really struggling. Yeah, it's got the wheel hop as well. Look, really not driving it well. Right, I'm going to switch to something that if I don't drive it well shows I'm really not in the zone at the moment. Uh, if I can't drive an Enzo well, then it means I'm definitely not in the zone. Well, there's the answer. Last chance. Come on, Harris McLaren. No, <laughs> better call it quits guys. Here's a bit of bonus footage. So this is a Ferrari F360 GT, which has a reputation of being a traditionally good one for racing. But again, there seems to be a bit of a chassis issue where this one doesn't turn in very sharply. So I think I'll swap it over to um, a Nissan 350 once another shipment arrives from Japan where I've got another Nissan 350 in the, the package. turn in I would need and a crash off the track so really not driving them well today guys so I've got to love a red Ferrari so we'll give the red Enzo a go red Enzo oversteers a little bit more than the other one so I've just got to be a bit careful on the high speed corners And already I'm stuffing up, so better call it quits for the night. See you guys.